Well guys, it's mid-February, it's cold out, it's snowing, and it's kind of dreary, and we're just basically going through the winter blahs, and I can think of nothing better than to serve up some hot soup today, and what I have in mind is one of my all-time favorites, and that is my ultimate loaded cheesy potato soup. It is amazing, it's got lots of great flavor, so let's just head on over to the kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to make this. To get started on this recipe, we are going to have to do a little bit of prep work and into a skillet you are going to put 8 to 10 slices of bacon and maybe a little bit more if you want to choose the garnish. But you're going to want 8 to 10 slices of bacon just for the soup. Then you're going to want to let that cool and once it does, just slice that up into nice bite sized pieces. You don't want anything too large, but you definitely don't want them too small. Next, we're going to chop up one medium-sized onion. And you just want to do a, a nice, even dice here. You're not looking for anything fancy, just a nice diced up onion. Exciting stuff, I know. Try not to cry. Next, we're going to take about eight to nine russet potatoes, medium size, and we're just going to want to peel those. Um, if you are using red skins, um, I would recommend leaving the skin on. It looks beautiful and it does not affect the taste at all. Then you're going to want to dice your potatoes into bite-sized pieces, and I suggest maybe no larger than an inch. You want to try and keep it as uniform as possible so they all cook the same time. Then into a Dutch oven or large soup pot, we're going to take two tablespoons of the bacon grease and one tablespoon of butter and melt that down. Get the pot nice and hot and then put our onions in there and saute those up until they are starting to get translucent and tender. That usually takes about two to three minutes. Next, we are going to mince three cloves of garlic, put that in there, and just stir it around until it's nice and fragrant. And then we are going to add in a third cup of flour. And you want to mix that around until the um, flour has a chance to cook off. You, don't, you just don't want it to um, taste like flour. And by cooking the flour, this way it takes care of that raw taste too. Then we're going to add the potatoes in there and give that a nice stir. And now we're going to add four cups of chicken broth. And again giving that a big nice stir just to try and get that flour to break down and make the soup nice and creamy. Then we're going to add in two cups of whole milk. Give that a nice stir and then add in one cup of heavy whipping cream. And then we're also going to add in one teaspoon of ancho chili powder, a couple pinches of salt and pepper. You don't need too much here. You can always add more later, but you can never take it away, so just add sparingly and then adjust to your taste. Then I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of red pepper flakes on there just to add a little depth of flavor. And the, between the ancho chili and the red pepper flakes, you'd think it might make it spicy, but it, all it does is just warm this soup up just a smidge and just adds a little depth of flavor. You're gonna to wanna to cover that and let it simmer for about 20 minutes and just keep stirring it around just so nothing sticks occasionally. Once you remove it from heat, you're going to add half a cup of sour cream, the bacon, and one cup of sharp cheddar cheese. 
and then you're going to give that a nice stir make sure that cheese gets nice and melted and everything's just blending together well and then i'm going to take an immersion blender and i'm just want to, looking to thicken the soup up just a little bit more and break down some of the potatoes a little bit more you can use a potato masher or even a blender and you're just looking, you don't want to take away all the chunks, but you do want to get it nice and smooth. Then I'm going to add some green onions as I plate this up to get ready to eat it. Some bacon on top and some more cheddar cheese. And look at that. This is just perfection in a bowl. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. That is comfort food at its finest. I can think of nothing better that is going to warm me up and satisfy me more on this cold, wintry day than this potato soup. It is amazing. You really are going to just love these flavors. I topped mine with a little bit of green onion, bacon, and more cheese, and here we go. I still left it with some chunks of the potato in there so I didn't immersion blend it too much. And here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah, this is five star all the way. The ancho chili seasoning brings just a nice, mellow blend of flavors along with the hot pepper, um, red pepper flakes that we put in there. It does not make it spicy, it just adds to the depth of flavor, and it is so good. You guys just simply have to make this. If you do, please leave some comments and let me know how it turned out for you. And yeah, I will also leave some recipes over here for you to check out that would go really good with this soup, which is going to make me so happy today because it's snowing outside. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel because that would be amazing. I have lots more great content where this came from. And as always, I hope you all have a fabulous week, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye. Mm. Enjoy.